Hi folks, thank you very much for joining me today. It is Wednesday, December 6, 2023. I drew out all the volcanoes for the island of Sumatra. 35 active volcanoes in this area. And I wanted to give you an update about the eruption there that occurred on Mer Merapi. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me today. You can see here that Merapi is along this chain, this um, fault zone called the Sumatra Fault. Rescuers have evacuated all of the climbers who were trapped on Indonesia's Merapi volcano. Sadly, 23 people have died. There were 75 climbers at the time on the volcano summit one of Sumatra's most active volcanoes when it began spewing gray clouds of ash as high as two miles into the sky on Sunday. One of the last missing climbers was found on Wednesday afternoon. They're a, a day ahead of us over there. They are saying that all climbers were accounted for following the rescue earlier of dozens, many of whom were wounded or burned by the eruption. Well, the pyroclastic flow was over 500 degrees. Yeah, it just stripped the skin from their bodies. Um, many of them had broken bones from the flying projectiles, lava bombs. The last I heard, there was at least 75 minor eruptions, and evidently those eruptions hampered the rescue efforts and bringing down the bodies. Funerals are already being held for some of the climbers. There was no warning that this volcano was going to erupt. One of the climbers said that there was no signs of it was about to erupt when they started their climb at the weekend, adding that they had climbed the volcano several times before. One of those rescued, Mohammed, said that um, after the volcano erupted, thick black smoke covered the skies, clouding his eyes. He could not see his surroundings at all. Talking from his hospital bed, Muhammad said that um, him and 17 of his friends started their ascent on Saturday. But for them, four of them, Muhammad got separated from the rest of them when the volcano started erupting. How many of you seen the movie Dante's Peak? where they're escaping at the beginning of the movie from an erupting volcano and a lava bomb came through the truck roof and hit the woman in the head and she was killed basically instantly. Well, evidently he witnessed that happening to one of his friends. He said that a rock hit him in the head. He said that him and his friends were trying to move downhill by constantly looking for places to protect themselves in the cliffs from the cloud of searing heat. Yeah, 500 degrees. Yeah, pyroclastic flow they had to run from. Phone signals must be sparse up there. They were told by the National Search and Rescue Agency once they were able to get through um, that they were to wait at a fork in the road where they would be picked up. But it would be eight hours before rescuers arrived. He evidently suffered broken bones, wounds, and burns and was carried by rescuers on a stretcher. Many of you may have seen the images of the 19-year-old student who was up on the mountain with 18 other students from her uh, school. Um, her nickname, Ify, uh was on the phone with her mother begging for help and her skin had been burned off and um, she had to wait for rescue too. Mount Merapi has had an alert status since 2011, meaning that residents were advised not to approach within 1.8 miles from the top of the mountain or three kilometers. But hikers were given permission supposedly to climb um, back in July. Yaffe was evidently one of those that was found dead. Um, according to her brother, her body was found still clutching her phone. It evidently was the first time that she ever had climbed the mountain. Sunday's eruption of Merapi was its deadliest since 1979 when an eruption killed 60 people. It last erupted in January and February of this year. There are probably over 150 
volcanoes there in Indonesia. Uh, Kalud on the island is considered one of the most active volcanoes. It has had over 30 um, eruptions since 1000 AD. Let me bring this out so you can see the location. It's down here. I don't have all the volcanoes drawn out. I've only accomplished today on the list of volcanoes there on Sumatra. Yeah, look at them all. It's just amazing. Just amazing that people can live in such an environment. Let's see, I believe it was in 1933. There was a volcano that erupted um, because of a magnitude 7.7 .7 earthquake. Let me bring this up and show you. Yeah, earthquakes can trigger volcanic eruptions. There's the location of that earthquake. And the volcano that erupted because of that earthquake was Bandar. That earthquake was 61 kilometers or, um, let's see, miles, 38 miles from the volcano. A lot of people ask, can earthquakes trigger volcanoes? Yeah, there was some also there in, um, I believe, South America that erupted. There was at least one after a large earthquake. Sending prayers. Yeah, so tragic. First time for that young lady to climb the mountain. And she was only 20 years old. I mean, look at all these volcanoes. Yeah. It's just, it's amazing. Sending prayers. Um... What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Many people have not prepared for any type of disaster. Uh, I'm a Christian myself. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. He's my Lord and Savior. And I may offend a lot of people. I don't care if I can save one life. That's what's important. But I do not believe in the rapture. Satan shows up first, claiming to be Jesus. He's going to delay, as he says, the rapture to save those, and he wants them all to bow down. He's going to sit in the throne uh, um, there in Jerusalem claiming to be God. But many people believe they're going to be raptured away, pre-rapture, different types of raptures, different times of rapture, and they won't have to be here when Satan shows up. And I do not believe that is true. And if this, I hope what I'm going to show you, would make you think about preparing just in case. Matthew 25, 1 through 13 talks about 10 virgins waiting for the uh, marriage. Five of the virgins had prepared ahead. They had extra oil stocked away. Five of them didn't. And then when the alert came out that the bridegroom had arrived, they all woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones, it says here, said, to the wise ones, give us your oil. Our lamps are going out. And they replied, no, we may not have enough for both of us. And instead, go to those who sell it and buy some for yourself. So there's another good example. A lot of people say, well, if I prepare and someone comes to me for help, should I help them? Well, the five wise virgins told the four foolish virgins who didn't prepare, didn't have extra oil, no, we're not going to give it to you because we might not have enough for ourselves. Think of your family. You might not have enough food stocked up for your family. And so they went to the, um, the stores to buy the extra oil. Um, you don't know if there's going to be any food there, if there's going to be riots, unrest, uh, if the uh, distribution of food is going to be interrupted. This is why I encourage people to prepare ahead for any type of scenario, be an earthquake, a tsunami, a volcano eruption, um, a pandemic. Be prepared ahead of time. And if you're wondering, should you share your goods for others? Well, the five wise uh, virgins didn't. Think of maybe the five wise virgins being the ones that were bugging out. Once they arrived at the wedding banquet, the door was shut. And then the other one showed up later asking, you know, the door to be open. And the uh, bridegroom replied, I don't know you. So the door was never open. You can also think about Noah. 
um, preparing for the flood that he was told to come. Yeah, I'm sure he was ridiculed. His family was ridiculed because they were stockpiling and gathering up all the animals and all the food for those animals and their family. So think about this when you're claiming that the rapture is going to um, take you to the clouds in the blink of an eye. Well, that doesn't happen until after Satan shows up. During that time, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You can barter, but you need to have things stocked up that you can barter with. Many say that's when the one world system um, gets all pulled together. That's when the uh, world digital currency will come into effect. So are you going to be the five wise virgins? Or are you going to be of the group of foolish virgins? Please prepare. You don't know what's coming. You don't know when. We don't know the time. We don't know the hour, etc. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be prepared. Be safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.